on and we are back with another video so i just want to get straight to the point i want to thank you all for watching this video i want to thank you to all 53 of my subscribers we are over halfway there to the 100 subscribers mark which is my goal at this point is to get to 100 subscribers so thank you all i love you all so much don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Brandy underscore soul underscore lovely. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment, leave me positive feedback. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already done so, and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss another video or up and coming video from me. And yeah, so let's hop right into this face. So I know you guys are probably wondering, like, Brandy, what's up? You don't got your scarf on today. Your face is already done. So, y'all, here's the thing. So, I had went out the house today just like this with just all I have on my face is foundation, a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and then a face powder. That's all I had. I didn't really do anything too extravagant or a full face. I don't have no contour or nothing on my face. So, right now, so just got back in. I said, hmm, I have something that I want to do. That I'm going to try with you guys, which is going to be my first time doing it ever. So you guys are experiencing it with me. And that will be, we're going to do an eye look. Even though my face is already done, we're going to do the eye look now that the face is already done. Um, and today's eye look is going to be a like a 50 shades of pink kind of look. Which means we're going to be like using different colors of pink. Even the lips will be pink. If you guys were wondering why my face is already done and don't have my scarf on, that's because I already went out the house today. Of course, I had I didn't go out like this or with this tank top on or anything. I had on the sweater and stuff like that. But, yeah, if you were wondering why I look like that, that is why. And if you see, you see a little bit of pink right here, it's because I was testing out, like, the pink that I was going to use. But... Don't worry about it. We're going to go ahead and get right on into the look. And I am going to add on like blush and add some highlight to the face because I didn't wear any today when I went out. Um, yeah, I was just plain Jane today, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do that when I get done with the eyes. But anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm rambling too much. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Let's get it. Hey, y'all. So my eyes is already prepped. Um, it already have like the concealer on it and the um the Sasha Buttercup powder already on it and stuff so we're going to go right ahead into the eyeshadow and the first eyeshadow palette that we will be using is the um Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills so we're going to open that up and we're going to take this pretty burgundy shade called Love Letter and we're going to apply that right into the crease this brush is from Coastal Scents um it doesn't say what kind of brush it is, but I know what kind of brush it is. And it is a crease brush. It's like a dense crease brush. So I'm just going to dip that right into Love Letter. And I'm just going to apply that in the crease. You know what, y'all? See, that's why I like doing, that's why I like doing this with y'all. So y'all can see the process right along with me instead of having one eye done. Just go ahead and do both eyes with you guys. But see, I should apply the pink. The next pink that I'm going to use, I should apply that first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we're going to see how that turned out. Oh, right, y'all. This is, I feel like this is like live because I'm like forgetting so many stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some. Um, satin powder and I'm going to go ahead and apply that right under my eyes and this is to keep the fallout any fallout from the eyeshadow that comes onto your face it's going to you're going to be able to brush it right away for any eyeshadow that wants to fall or you know glitter or whatever so yeah y'all okay, so now we're going in with the carity matte palette again i love this palette y'all just because it comes with a wide variety of colorful colors in a matte so they can be used as transition shades and stuff so that's why i like i love this palette but anyway i'm going to now take this pretty pink and i'm using the pro bullet crease brush from sephora and i'm taking this pretty pink again and i'm just going to apply that into the crease and i should have did this first y'all but whatever because now it's going to overpower 
that burgundy. But after I do that, I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and I'm going to blend that out. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to go in with Love Letter and I'm going to apply that right into the crease. See, yeah, that's better. That's much better, actually. I'm going to blend that out. So, to cut out crease, we will be using the MAC Pro Long Pink Pot in the shade Lay It Low. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to be going in back with that same pink that we used to apply in the crease. And I'm going to apply that to the middle and to the end of where we applied our um, base. So where we apply the prolong, the, the matte pink pop, we're going to apply that pink right on it. And we're going to leave this. We're going to leave that open because we're going to put something else right there. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to go right into the eyes, the glitter part. And we're now going to be using our MAC Pigments. Um, and this is in the shade Kitchenmas. You guys see that? I don't know if you can, but Kitchenmas, I think. Anyway, it's like a purpley pink little glitter. And we are going to apply that right to this part where I left open. And you see the, the pigments falling out on the face? That's why I applied that powder, the setting powder right there. Okay, so now y'all can choose to leave your eye like this. And just add your liner or whatever. And your eyelashes, but I'm not. I'm extra. So I'm going to add a little bit of my glitter glue. Which is again, is the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. I like it to use it for... Um, glitter because it has the glitter to stay. Now I'm going in with my J Cat Beauty Sparkling Glitter in this pretty pink, and I'm just going to apply that right over where I applied the glitter. I mean the glue. y'all to clean it up I'm going to go back into love letter from the Renaissance palette and I'm just going to clean up the eye with it and blend it out I'm going in with my Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner and I'm going to do a wink Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera because the video is a little longer than I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Apply the lashes off camera and then I'll be right back and we can finish the face with the blush and stuff together. So I'll be back. Hey y'all. So now that we're done with the eyes, we're now going to, or with the top part of the eyes and the eyelashes, we're now going to move on to the bottom waterline. waterline. And for the bottom waterline, we are now going to be, um... We're now going to be adding the white Milk Jumbo NYX Eye Pencil into our waterline. And I know I already have Miss Gamma on from earlier, y'all, but we're going to make it work. And this just goes to show you that if you do your full face first and you want to add eyeshadow later, you can do that. 
So now I'm going back in with some more a mascara. And I'm going in, of course, with the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I'm just going to apply a little bit since I already had some on there. That's to kind of freshen the look up a little bit. Okay, y'all. So now going in with that same MAC HD pigment. We're now going to apply that into our inner tear duct. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to brush off that excess um, eyeshadow fallout and glitter. And I'm going in with my foundation brush. And I'm just going to swipe it away first. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush it down. Just like that. So see this side of the face compared to this side of the face. So now I'm going to go ahead and do it with the other side of the face as well. Swipe first. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush it. Kind of touching it up a little bit. Now I didn't apply any concealer to the forehead. But as you can see you can't really tell. It doesn't really make too much of a difference so we're not going to worry about that too far but now we're going to go right into the blush today i'm going to be using the laura geller blush and brighten in the shade sunswept and i'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my cheeks okay so per usual we're going in with the bobby brown highlighting powder in the shade bronze glow and we're going to apply that to the nose Forehead, cubic's bow. Chin and cheeks. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in with any more glow that I like I usually would for the cheeks and stuff. Instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of the Milani Make It Last setting spray just because my face was already sprayed this morning. But I'm just going to spray a little bit. And I'm not going anywhere, y'all, so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Um, and then we're going to go right into the lips. Okay, so for the lips and for today's lip liner, we're going to be using our ColourPop um, lip pencil in the shade Ellery. And we're just going to apply that to, the out to outline our lips. going to go in with this pretty pink by this pretty pink gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hill Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is in the shade pastel pink and I'm just going to apply that to the lips not that much now we're going to go in with our Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade love buzz and we're going to apply that over that pink gloss Yeah, so that is the finished look so that is how you can go from day to night that fast so I hope that you ladies really liked this video or guys whoever's watching I hope that you guys really 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 like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so if you have go ahead and click that notification bell so that you do not miss another video from me also go ahead and follow me on instagram at brandy underscore so underscore lovely and i will be right back with the finished look i love you so much thank you bye oh, 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 oh.